Hey, Michael Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Meltdown by Majestic's Cornhole. Let's go ahead and break this bag down. It's a carpet bag. It has that herringbone carpet that we all know and love. It's the same carpet you find on the BG Wizard and Sorcerer, the Buffalo Fallout X and Fury, the the Ninja Street I reviewed recently. Vortex has it on the debris, which I, I got to review that coming out soon. The B3 Fatal and Prime, X Level Counterpunch, Southwest Capo. I, I, I could go on. I mean, there's so many bags out there that have this type of herringbone carpet. There's a, there's different herringbone materials out there. This is kind of what I think of as the OG herringbone. This is the one when I think of herringbone carpet. This is what I actually think of first. Uh, you know, and, and there's like I said, if you, more than likely you've all thrown a bag or have a bag or have a set that has this type of material on it. I call it a five speed, but I have mentioned before, and I'll, I'll say it again, it's a material that's very, that you can manipulate. You can keep it clean and, and it'll you know, keep it clean, keep it shaved down with a fabric shaver, and it'll play more like that five and a half, six speed, get it dirty and really rough it up. You can slow it down to a four speed if you want, even a little slower. But I think five speed is kind of that sweet spot where most bags tend to play in normal conditions. You're looking at best. So five speed on the slow side here, fast side. This is that pro sniper deadhead viper fast side. It's a nine speed, crazy fast. Great for push and collecting, sliding the boards in any conditions. We're looking at a five and nine speed on this bag. Both materials play really well in humidity. So if humidity is an issue where you live, this is a bag that you can pull out and play through some of the conditions. Template wise, it is a medium template bag, medium amount of fill, medium amount of fullness, medium amount of flop. It's kind of that sweet spot right down the middle where we're starting to see a lot of bags, especially ACL stamp bags. You know, there's flop here. It is not overly floppy. It is not overly full. It's kind of right in that middle. And I think the, the beauty of this is if you like a floppy bag, you can play this. If you like a fuller bag, you can still throw it. So it really fits a lot of different play styles. It's a great kind of that Goldilocks of bags. It's just right for everybody. The fill in here is a mixed fill. I love the fill that they use, mainly because it gives the bag some movement. You have some bounce. You have some moves. You can shape shots, but it's not overly aggressive. So it doesn't punish you too much if you don't throw a flat bag. Now, if you don't throw a flat bag, it will kick on you. This material is known for kicking. With the mixed fill, it is going to kick. It's not, again, it's not as bouncy as some other bags or fuller bags would be, but it, there, the kick is there. Now, it, it's a consistent kick, so if you throw that same tilt, that same angle to your back all the time, it'll kick the same. You can make, adjust your landing. You can definitely play it, but that kick also leads to the bag being cuttable. It's being rollable, floppable. It gives you the shot shape and abilities, and, and this bag definitely has it. So if you like playing that, that, that flop, roll, cut style game, this is a great option for you. The other thing I would say is this, this herringbone material is not the most hole friendly. I mentioned that as well in some of my other reviews that it does have a tendency to want to hang on the hole. And when you add a mixed fill, you, the, the beads in here, a mixed fill is more hole friendly than a flat fill. And so you're kind of counteracting what you're losing the hole friendly for this material. You gain back with the fill. So it kind of, it kind of negates the two, so to speak. So I think the bag does a pretty good job around the hole because of the mixed fill in spite of this herringbone carpet. Uh, other things, these bags are ACL stamped. These are pro stamped for 2024. So ACP played ACL events, these meltdowns are definitely an option for you. That leads me into playability on this. And the beauty of this herringbone material is that it's so versatile. You can do pretty much anything with it. It's kind of that jack of all trades, that Swiss army knife type material. So if you like to run bags and go hole for hole, put your four bags in, get your 12 points and try to outscore your opponent, you can do those bags. It's it maybe not the best bag for that, right? I mean, Majestics has the Ghost I review, which is a better option for that style of game. But if you want to play a style game, you can do it with this. But if you also want to play a dirty style game, you want to throw blockers up there, you want to play, you know, congestion, cause chaos, and then clean it up at the end, you can do that with this back. If you want to play somewhere in between, you can do that with this back. If you play a spot who plays a dirty style game and they've got blockers in your way and you want a bag that, that will work great at getting around those blockers, you can do that with this back. And that's the beauty of this herringbone carpet. And I think why it's so popular is the versatility of it. It makes it great for a blind drive. No matter who you get as a partner and what style of game they play, it doesn't have to be the same style as you. You can both play your style of game with this bag. Now, I'm not going to say it's it's not the best bag for blockers. It's not the best bag I mentioned for going hole for hole, but it's a good bag at all of that. Right? It, it doesn't it doesn't excel at anything, but it does everything really well. And that's where I think it's a it's kind of that Goldilocks Swiss Army knife type bag. It really fits that sweet spot in the middle and really plays a lot. And for me, I like this bag because I like to mix and match when I play round to round, depending on the, the score, the situation, what I first bag, second bag, how my opponent's playing, whether they're whether they're hitting airmails or not, or whether how well they can push through bags. It dictates how I want to play. So I like to maybe run hole, you know, run run backs hole for hole one round, next round, throw up a blocker, maybe first bag leave it there, get around, get around the cut, and then clean up the end. Maybe the next round, I'm going to, again, go back hole for hole, and then maybe or maybe I'll throw a third bag blocker or whatever. You know, you can mix it up, and that's the beauty of this bag is that you can do you can do that. You can, you can really play however you want to play with it. 
I love it be also because I, I'm more of a cutback player. I like throwing blockers up there, and then I like to leave it, leave that blocker, make my opponent deal with it, especially if they're struggling to collect and they're they're having a hard time pushing or their their air mills off and they miss. I want to leave it. I'm a, I'm a throw blocker. I'm going to cut around, cut around, then come down last back, select side, come down the middle, collect it. Bags are very collectible. They have enough fullness to them that they're not going to accordion up. So you're just clipping a quarter. Clipping a quarter, they'll go right in. So, which means you can get more aggressive with that blocker and put it more, you know, kind of go over the center and put it a little more on your opponent's side, get it right in their way, make it tough for them to get around. And like I said, you don't have to get crazy aggressive and come with a cut shot. If you need to, if you miss it and go a little further over, you can come with a cut, come back, collect it, pull it back in. But if you just get it right where you want it, just off the center, you can come down the middle with the slick side if you need to, collect it, take them both in. I also love collecting those flows of this bag because if you throw a bag up there, you can push or place, push or place. Slick side at the end, clean up. That's what I really love to do. So with this bag, there's just there's so much you can do. It, it just gives you all those options. If you like to throw roll bags, you can definitely roll this bag. If you're if you're an average rollback thrower, you're still you know you, you can throw some. Maybe not the best. You can you can definitely roll this bag. Maybe not the best bag to learn on. Although it's not a hard bag to roll. So if you're if you're trying to get in the roll bag game and you want to try it, this meltdown is definitely something that will that will allow you to. To, to work on that roll game and get better at it. So it's definitely a versatile bag. It's a shot shaping bag. It, it, you know, the, the, the other thing I want to say too is the flop on this bag. What I like about this bag over some of the full over, especially like the Wizard. The advantage this bag has over the Wizard is the flop it has. It does a better job at grabbing that hole. So if, if you're off, right, your, 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 your aim is off, a little inconsistent, and you're missing your landing by a little bit right or left. When that bag goes up there and that corner dips down, it's going to grab the hole, spin around, and pull the bag back. Enough speed is coming back in. If not, it's left hanging. It's not impossible to collect. Again, I talk about this material is not that hole friendly. It doesn't even want to hang. But if you got a bag hanging, especially on the side or the front corner, you could come in, put a bag in, take it, and clip it. If it's a bag on the back, you're probably going to get more aggressive. Just putting a bag in is not going to draw it, and you've come with an airmail drag or something, clip it to bring it back in. But it's definitely a collectible bag. If you get it, if you can get it to grab the hole, and it's not your last bag, it's a good chance you can bring the bag back, and it's not that hard to collect. And like I said, you have the ability to throw a cut shot. If it's on the or the other side of the board and it's hanging, you can throw a cut, come around. Cut, grab it, and pull it right back in. And it, so it's definitely a collectible bag. It's definitely a bag that's going to find its way in the hole more times than not. But I do love the flop, the, the forgiveness around the hole that it gives you with the flop. Plus, the floppiness of the bag also does help take away from that kick. A fuller bag with this fill is going to kick more. When you add flop to the bag, you take away some of that kick so it's not as punishing, right? This really reminds me, the handful of the bag reminds me a ton of the Wizard L, which I recently reviewed. The, the, the one of the hot bags everybody's craving over that wizard l this meltdown reminds me of that handful you get for the wizard l but you're not sacrificing the weights you're not losing some of the playability you lose a lighter weight bag you've got a normal weight bag pretty much i think it's right it's right about 16 ounce 15.9 16 ounce bag it's right at that that sweet spot that mid mid spot the one pound weight for bags so you you're not losing you're not sacrificing the playability by getting a lighter weight bag but you still got the flop of that so anyway Love the way the Meltdown plays. I, if you're looking to throw a Herringbone carpet and you don't have one, the Meltdown's a great option. If you don't have a bag with this Herringbone carpet, I recommend getting one. I, I just I think everybody should have a bag with their Herringbone material in it in their backpack because it's such a versatile bag. It, it can play all conditions. You can do so much with it. I really think you need to get one to at least have just for certain situations. I think I think you're really gonna like that. Now, at least video availability on this and Majestics has a website mxcornhole.com. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. The meltdowns are eighty four ninety nine for a set, and it's it's like nine ninety five or ten bucks shipping. So, it, it ninety five dollars shipped to you is is a great price. It, it's kind of right down that that mid range. It's not the cheapest, not the most expensive. Personally, I find it for myself that I kind of there's so many great bags at the hundred dollar mark and under that I, that I really feel like I have a hard time going over hundred bucks for a set of bags. You can find great bags shipped to you for under hundred bucks. This is one of them. The price is great. The playability is great. I just I think it's a win win across the board. I think you really need to need to get yourself a set of meltdowns and give them a try. If you have them, I'd love to hear feedback. What you like, what you don't like. If you have it and you get a set, I'd love to hear your opinions on the bags as well. I just love hearing what you guys think about the bags. But I thank you guys so much for the support, and I thank you for watching. 